In this map suite NBC edition sample app walkthrough, we're going to show you how to just display a simple map using the World Map Kit uh, web service overlay. As you can see here, we've got a map where we're zoomed into the United States, and you're allowed to pan around and zoom in and zoom out accordingly. To get something like this up and running is just really a few lines of code, so let's dig right in. With this sample, most of the code is in the controller source, so if we pop that window up, you can see there's about six or seven lines of code here. These first three lines of code are merely just setting up the map and setting its size of how much area you'd like the map to consume on the page. The next line is very important as you're setting the map unit. In this case, we're using the, uh, the World Map Kit WMS Web Overlay, which is supported in both uh, geodetic or longitude and latitude and also spherical mercator. If you're using the geodetic or you want to use longitude and latitude coordinates, you would set your map unit to decimal degrees. If you're using spherical mercator or web mercator, then you would want to set your map unit to meters. Uh, map unit is really just the unit that your data is in. So for example, UTM is in meters, so you, if you're using data that's in a UTM projection, you'd want to set that to meters. If you're in the United States and you're using map data that's in, say, state plane, you'd want to use feet for your map unit. So that's always something to be aware of as you start using Map Suite. The next line here is where you set the map's current extent. The current extent is nothing more than telling the map control where to zoom into. As you can see here, we just create a rectangle shape and pass in four different uh, values. These represent the coordinates of the upper left point and the lower right point, so the map can zoom in accordingly. Uh, next, we just set a background color. Uh, so if you want to give your map a certain feel for things that, you know, if nothing's displayed and have a, a default background color, that's how you would set that. And then finally, we add the World Map Kit WMS Web Overlay to the Custom Overlays collection on the map and return it. If you're not familiar with the World Map Kit, this is a product by Think Geo that we sell, and we sell it a couple different ways. One is, is that we have um, tiled web servers up in the cloud that you can consume the map files from directly. And uh, this allows you, if you don't want to have any servers set up locally and you just want to consume a good base map, the World Map Kit works that way. Another option is we sell a, um, a version of the World Map Kit where you can install it all on your own server and have it all local. So there is no dependency on internet connectivity um, or outside dependencies outside of your LAN. So keep that in mind as you're looking at various base maps that the World Map Kit is one option. Now that we've looked at the controller source, let's take a quick look at the view source. And really the view source is about as simple as it gets. Um, we're just writing out the, the instructional text and then uh, rendering out the map here. I hope this uh, walkthrough has been sample, or uh, this walkthrough of the sample has been helpful. And please feel free to contact us if you have any questions or post them on our discussion forums at thinkgeo.com/forums. Thanks for watching.